Snap, mm-hmm. crackle, pop. <laughs> I know. All the sounds. Oh, my God. We're not getting old. We're not getting old. <laughs> I'm not sore all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. I don't make noises when I stand up and sit down. <laughs> Damn it. So I think we're getting old. <laughs> God. Bless you. Thanks. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. 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 I'm Kara. I'm Chris. And we're the, the Midnight, Midnight Birds. This is my cat for the day. <laughs> um, so we talked about Carnage yep. in our last episode, and then we did like a little like spinoff book that we kind of yeah. saw was out there by Chantel. Chantel. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were like, let's read this before we go to like the King's, King's. books. Yep. Um, so we read Sabotage mm-hmm. um, by Chantel Tessier. Um, it was good. It was not your typical no, Chantel, this, Lords, Carnage. It was different. Yeah. This is where she says, oh, this is a standalone book. This, this literally is a was standalone. a standalone. Like, you do not have to read this book to know about what's really going on. Yeah. This is one where in, like, The Sacrifice, especially with Tyson, Tyson has his employees, like, Almost crew. like henchmen. Yeah. Or, like... Guys okay. that like hang out in the the basement of blackout yeah. to do his dirty work or yeah. to help him do his dirty work. Yeah, and so it's just about one of those dudes in kind of like his journey, I guess. Um, yeah, like this. It was definitely different. I will say it wasn't my favorite. It, yeah, it was not my favorite of Chantel's mm-hmm. books. Um, I I am glad that I read it yeah. because like I'm just on this like mode of like reading mm-hmm. them all because I. And we were talking about this, and I don't, we don't know if Chantel knows that she's doing this, which I'm sure yeah. she does, but, like, she's creating a whole mm-hmm. universe for us between, yeah. like, the lords, between Carnage and, like, the kings. She is tying them all in, yeah. right? So, yeah. and I'm like, she's got to know. She's created yeah. a universe. You, you've given us Barrington College. You've given yep. us an entire college. We know about multiple, multiple families. families. I mean, mul- like, multiple, because yeah. not only do you learn about, like, the females, you learn about, like, the males' mm-hmm. families. Um, you learn about, like, the higher-ups, not so much their families, but, like, who they who, are, what they are who doing. Who they and... replot or, like, go, go to. to. Yeah. Um, so, like, and then, like, we, she's built Carnage for us. Like, yeah. there's so many tie-ins that I'm like, woman is We're building us a damn universe. Verse. Like, keep it coming. Yeah. So, when I read this one, I was just kind of like, oh. Uh, it this to me was more of a standalone than yeah. carnage. Yeah, personally. I agree. I agree. Um, so this one again, it, it was shorter. It, yes. it's, a no, it's a novella. Yeah, if you will, it was a lot shorter. Um, mm-hmm. it was a short book, quick, easy to read. I will yeah. say that. Um, it's still spicy. Yeah, but it's more spicy than it is like pew pew pew. pew. Stab, yeah, like less action, more spice. I yeah. felt. Yeah, I mean, even when it was spicy, it is nothing compared to the other books. No, that we've read from her. Not at all. Yeah. Um, we kind of start out with like, we hear about this man named Colton, mm-hmm. um, and he's face fucking this girl named Rayleigh with her hands bound. Yeah. And he comes on the floor and makes her lick it yeah. up. I was like, huh. like I can't, I don't like that. And this is like page eleven. <laughs> okay. So yeah. like, she just. Right in there. And then he was, like, describing about how he, like, fucking hates this girl. Yes. So, like, that was... a hate fuck situation. This whole book was a hate fuck Fuck. situation, I felt like. Yes. Um, Because both Colton and Rayleigh, the main characters, hate each other, but Mm -hmm. they fuck each other. Yeah. But they're also step-siblings. Yeah, that's the kicker. That's where I was like, maybe this isn't my cup of tea. tea. Because I am not about the whole... Ooh, I'm in a dryer, like, step bro. Like, I'm not yeah, about like, that. Especially how long they have been step siblings. I mean, I guess it's one thing if you're, like, adults and, like... It just, like, comes about. Like, you don't really know the person. But, like, they, they grew up together, like, in their like, teens. teens. So... Like, in a pivotal... Was it 
pivotal a pivotal time. moment yeah. in their lives and yeah. like sexuality and like when colton first met rayleigh it was an instant attraction instant. instant and he got pissed at the dad like you didn't fucking tell me and the dad's like tell you what, what? yeah like wh- he's like how gorgeous you blah 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 and he's like okay I'm dad is like right there. hands off you're not allowed to touch her. you're not allowed to do this Look also, at her. that's inappropriate for me i'm her stepfather like so like dad i was on point with dad of being like just don't don't like just stay and I'm like, away. I am not even gonna touch that issue with you. <laughs> yeah, like dad was like, absolutely not. not. Um, so that was interesting. Yeah. Because then Colton just doesn't give a fuck. fuck. I mean, no. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm like again, it starts off spicy. Like yeah. the next page is like Colton fucks her in front of his friends and then like offers her friends up join. to his friends. Um, if she pleases. <laughs> Colton's friends, then Colton will let her come. Yeah. But otherwise, she's getting the deprivation yeah. before mm-hmm. that. So that's kind of fun. Um, we hear about the roommates, um, Finn, Jenks, and yeah. Alex. They're just kind of important as they're, they go into, like, the blackout. Yeah. Because like, they, they all work together, but they all live together. Yes. Yeah, so they all live in this home together, and they're, like, out of college or yeah. like in yeah, this this is after college Rayleigh's still in college she's in her she's senior at Barrington year. Yeah, at Barrington she's, but this still has nothing this book really does not have anything to do with the lords, lords besides them working for, for Tyson. Tyson yeah they have they know of the lords because of Tyson yeah. right so like and some of them think like the lords are like not real, real it's like all. this like myth but <laughs> Colton knows yeah. because of Tyson and Tyson yeah. kind of has him do some dirty work and blackout. Yeah. So like, that's fun. Um, but yeah, they're all like living in this home and he moves Rayleigh in yeah. with these three dudes. So, you know, from an outside perspective, you're like, Oh, like step siblings, like decided to get a house yeah, together. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, he just wanted, wanted her, her there, there so he could fuck her yeah. and keep his ass yep. on her. All, yep. Cause he is, hundred percent. But like their whole relationship is such a back and forth. It's very messed up. It's not yes. like um He doesn't he ruins all of her relationships. Cause yeah. like you're not gonna Friendships have and relationships. relationships. But then she comes in, wrecks his fucking car, lights it on fire Yo. during the party. Yeah, she is that was great. <laughs> that was like page 24. Four. Yeah, she pulls up and she's like pissed that Colton's throwing a party at the house. And he also released a video they're, they're of her giving him a blowy and letting like the other dudes hit it. No, but he didn't put that, that part he online. Cut, it was a 10 second video of but just her. This was Colton's way of being like, my stepsister's mine. Yeah. Like he kind of told the world. Yeah. And like, he's like, I'm over it. It's so time. she saw this video and pulls up to the house, just, lights his Lamborghini on fire. Tries to okay. bust out the windows, doesn't work. Doesn't, so she hits the corner, which is like what you would do in a situation anyway. And it starts putting gasoline, and she's like, I don't know. And the movie's like, you just throw it all in. Throw it all in. And it all just in. lights it on fire. Poof. And then um, just walks up and goes up to her room. Like, yeah, like, what? no big deal. Her boyfriend comes running in, and he's like, where is she? <laughs> What's going on? Why is the car? Why That's are you guys like, mad at her? And she's like, don't worry about it. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> Like she's trying to keep her cool around her boyfriend because she doesn't want the boyfriend to, to know, know that she's been fucking her stepbrother. And like she stole her boyfriend's phone so he couldn't see this viral <laughs> video. Yes. And that's why he like essentially chases her back to the yeah. house because like I can't find my right. phone. And you know, he stays the night and she fucks her boyfriend and then fucks her <laughs> stepbrother because, like, obviously- the same night in the bathroom. And I'm like <laughs> When she when they were she was having sex with her boyfriend, she's like, Oh yay. Like totally faking it because it's not what she wants. He she has told him what she wants and, and he's, he's like, like, I'm no. not gonna do that. That's yeah. not a thing for me. So she's like, Great. Yeah, so she's kinda like dead fish, you know. Yeah, honestly, like, the like, vibes oh, this is great. Get. And then, you know, she like sees Colton like fucking another girl and I guess she like yes. goes to the bathroom and Colton comes in and is and like then, I'm gonna take you. Yeah. Uh, but like the next morning, <laughs> her boyfriend's about to leave, and all of a sudden, his phone appears. Colton's Colton, like, "Oh, I found yeah, this." Colton found it, and then the boyfriend sees the video. Well, like he starts to walk out, and then comes back like, "Um, um what is this?" Like yeah. I have texts and but then, calls. Like, starts calling her names. Like this is disgusting. This is yep. what's going on. And so she gets to see like who he really really is. is. 
But then Colton is there, like, now you need to fucking go. Yes. Um, so that was, like, super weird. Yeah. Um, and I, I even put a question, like, Colton released the video so everyone knows she's his. Yeah. Not step-siblings, but that she yes. belongs to him. Yep. Um, but Colton, like, still fucks this girl named Amy. Me? So, like, I'm Just, confused. like, random. <laughs> I'm confused about that. Like, we hate Riley so much. We want everybody to know that she's uh-huh. mine and nobody else can have her. But I hate her. Like, what? Yep. Well, I love it because in, in Colton's POV, like, he's having sex with Amy. Amy's on top and he's just like, whatever. whatever. Yeah, like, totally <laughs> like how Ry- Riley was. Yeah. So that was funny. Um, I mean, so like, that's essentially that's like the like, gist of it. Like, I mean, we get like, like flashbacks of like the first time Rayleigh and Colton like ever hooked up. Yeah. I mean, because she, she's always wanted it, and she mm-hmm. she goes and tries to have sex with a guy named Mike. But then, of course, she's a virgin, and so she starts to bleed. Mike freaks out and dips, dips. before doing like he's yeah. like, "Here's blood on my dick." Like, nope, I'm nope. out. So she got pissed, came back. Colton found out that she and had sex. Stops her. Yeah, like they were in the laundry laundry room. Mm-hmm. Come on. And their and parents were like out of out, town. And then he was like, "Let's go." And so like that's how that all happened. And it's and just started. like it's weird because they both hate each, each other. other. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I get like hate sex maybe like once or twice, like with but an it's ex. Been a but it's for been, five years. Like that's what's weird to me. Like at what point is this gonna change from like hate to something else, and what's gonna trigger that? Yeah. And so I don't know. I thought it was weird. Yeah. I mean, it progressively like. Throughout the book, and pretty much towards the end of the book, they're like, no, I love you. Yeah, like, she professes that she's, like, in love with him at one point. Um, And I feel like it's all because, like, they have been with other people, and they are just not getting the same What they want, and they know maybe they can't be together in the way that they want, so it's, like, frustration. Yeah. But, yeah, it does pop off toward the the end. I mean... After, like, she professes her love, like, her ex kidnaps her. Yeah, Nate. Nate kidnaps uh-huh. her. Um, Dude, but I thought it was dope that, like, they let Ray Lee kill um, Mike with that nail gun. No, she kills Nate with a nail gun. Oh, was Mike it? is the one that's like... So, before any of that, before the whole kidnapping, it comes to where, like, they're at a party. They're still pissed off. They go into Mike's backyard, like it was like yeah. oh, okay, or yes. So they go back there, and then but it was Nate's kidnapping little it was adventure, Nate's yes. kidnapping because Nate was trying to be like, I need to talk to you. To She's you. like, no, no, I don't want to. So the boys, they all go, they strap Nate down, and they humiliate Rayleigh, which in is like front of him, thing. yeah. Be like, this is my, my whore, bitch. Like, yeah. My mama, this is all what of, she likes. She likes all of all, us, all of it, and, and then. The two, the boys, jack off on Nate and yes. humiliate him. Dude, but what's hysterical is Nate's dick is hard in his hands. Hands. <laughs> And they're like, you shamed her for uh-huh. this shit, but you like, like it. it. And that was the part of the book where I was like, <laughs> <laughs> And that's what, what really triggers Nate to kidnap to kidnap Rayleigh. Yes. Because Mike is supposed to be in jail from this point, so no one's supposed to be in Mike's home. Yeah, but Mike shows, shows up. up. And was like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, yeah, and that's, they're like doing construction so, in like yeah. that part of the house and stuff. But That's why there's power tools around. Yeah, so once like she's able to like compose herself because she she does get raped. She does. Um, so yeah. that would be a huge trigger, trigger warning. warning. Um, but I mean, she's like hanging on by a fucking thread right. here and she takes this nail gun and is no, like, I first she can't do figure it, it out because like, there's like a safety for yeah, it. Yeah, because it has to be pressed up, up against, against whatever, something to work. Because she work. just tried to like fire it like a gun. And then she realized when she like touched him, like it was going like, off. I think it got him in the arm first and then... Finally gets off because like he's freaking out. She finally figures out how to like get, get her arms around ta- her because he like taped her. her fucking face up like yeah. psycho and, like, killer behind the back. Yes, so she finally like willed it out, grabbed it again, and then got on top of them from yes. behind and gets him so many times in the, the back face of the head. and the dome. She's just <laughs> and then of course she's sitting there just like traumatized, the holding the nail gun, and Mike walks in, in and, and he's, she's like, huh? yeah, she's don't come, come near me. me. And he's like, oh. 
oh, I'm going to call gonna... Colton. It's okay. Oh. And they see right through that bullshit. Yeah, well, she shoots him in the arm. Like, don't fucking come near me. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm going to call Colt. Yeah, like, like, okay. And even when Colton comes in, he's like, he has to be like, it's like, she is yes. clearly in a... Traumatized. Yes. And like, so... That was really well written because I yeah. felt that. And like reading that scene. Like where that she, adrenaline. Where like her face is getting oh fucking God. taped up and she's like, this is it. Yeah. Like am I, I'm not getting taped up like this for yeah. funsies. And like, Colton's like, I'm just going to, I got to just get, get it off, it off you. Like, yeah. So, and then that's when they kind of like come together. Yeah. They um, go, they go to blackout. Gavin shows up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like tries to so help. So there's a little tie there. Yes. And then. Of course, Colton's freaking out about everything. Mike confesses. Like, yeah, and then they, this, I but, think they get, don't they let him cut his dick off? Oh, she shoots she his, his dick, dick off. Yeah. Yeah, because. And then she slowly tortures him. Yeah, because they had to, like, make sure she's fine because she's coming out of everything. He's Her like, trauma. do we want to have a rape kit? All of that. And then and she's like, no she need. Mike comes in like, and she's like, know. no. It just goes in. And so everybody's just pissed off because Mike's trying to lie about everything. Mm-hmm. So I really like that. And they string Mike up. They string him up. And yeah. so she just fucking With goes. the nail gun as she gets it in his dick. Dude, I was like. Everything. Oh, oh shit, And she's girl. still trying to click and it's empty. Uh, it's and that's empty. Colt yeah, like, Colt's like, hey, and babe. Like, let's... like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let you run power tools anymore. Okay, no, no more power, power tools, tools for this girl. Um, you will shoot my dick off. <laughs> I'm afraid of you. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. So sexiest scene. Um. Went the shower after not coming with her boyfriend. It was when Nate fun. is in the other room. The pouring of the wine on Colton's dick while like really had to like lick, lick it, it off, off was yep. sexy. And then the empty wine bottle. Oh my god, their, I forgot about that. Dude, when their parents are downstairs, Shit. they're at like family dinner and he takes her call. upstairs. Yeah, and um, he with the, with the wine bottle. Brings the wine bottles like, guess what? Like, her up. puts a whole new name to popping bottles. bottles. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Makes her lick it clean. Yes. And then brings it back, back down downstairs to the and table. puts it on the table like in front of her, her parents. And it's like, Bro. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, but it was a really sexy scene. Yeah. I was like, I was like oh. I can't feel good. Like, and then uh, the way she's describing it, I'm like, oh, apparently it does. Because <laughs> <laughs> she apparently. likes it. I mean, she likes it. I don't it. want that type of foreign object. object in my body. Thank you. I mean. Watch it. Maybe like fine, but. Once. Maybe once. I don't know about a wine model. It has to be like specific shape. I don't know. I can do some champagne. <laughs> I like, yeah, UTI for sure. Sure. But like. I think she mentions that too. She's like, the UTI I'm going to get from this. this she does. is going to be bad. <laughs> Which like, we appreciate the yes. honesty because we all know. No. That's always my first thought. It's like, if it's not a dick or something that's supposed to like. Go made there. To go in. It's like, my first thought is, ooh, that UTI. That's going to hurt. <laughs> that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. <laughs> um, so yeah, like it was a good standalone. Yeah. You know, it was a, a short one. It was a quick read. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, we kind of touched on like the whole book. Yeah. And like that's literally, that's minutes. literally it. Yeah. It's like, it's a quick read. Um, again, it comes with some pretty like big trigger warnings, warnings. Yeah. with like the rape, um, like the brother sister thing. That's not for everybody. Right. Like yeah. I learned it's not for me. No. Um, I still read the book. I still yeah. enjoyed the book, but it really took like mental hurdles to get yeah. over that. Yeah. And then every time I would, they'd be like, Flashback, and I was like, mm. I don't want that. Um, so this was like, I'll still give it like a three out of five. Yeah, so I think it was well written. Yeah, I, it was clear. It was easy to read. Again, she still does those little ties. Yes, throws Tyson in there, mm-hmm. Gavin. So it was a good standalone. This, yeah, this, this is, is a, a standalone, standalone for Chantel, <laughs> yeah. in our opinion. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was good. Um. It was a one-time reader. Like, yeah. we've, read, we've read the Lord series, and obviously we read Carnage multiple times. Multiple times. times. This Hawk was, was a, a one and yeah. done. I mean, like, the best way I can phrase it is, like, Colton and his friends are, like, Tyson's bitches. Honestly. Like, they, they, do, his, they do his dirty work. They yeah. do his bitch work. Um, and then Colton's just massively obsessed with his stepsister yeah. and hating <laughs> her. Step- I, I can't that's the one thing I just can't get over I and I know I we understand that that is a genre yes. we are totally aware we are yes. not 
like bashing that. We're just saying yeah. for us. Can I just say like I'm glad it was in a novella and not in like the actual long Lord series. Yes, because. If I'm going to read like a 100 and 200 page, page book of this, no problem. Yeah. But if I'm going 600 pages, no. I, uh, that's a lot That's for me. too much. Um, so thank you for making a, a yes. novella, Chantel. Yes. Um, we appreciate it. And yeah. I think that's really about it for that book. So yeah, it was good. Read it if you'd like. Really I, try to get over the whole step. Sister, sister thing, thing if that bothers you. Yeah. yeah if it doesn't, then like yeah. you will probably love this book. Yeah. So. I think regardless, it's worth a read. I think all of her books are. Yeah. Um, at least, like, at least once. Absolutely. Because it does, like you said, it does tie in, so. It does. Yeah. And then we'll be reading The King's Books, books. by Chantel. Yeah. And, yeah, we'll have to just come back with, like, all three or four of those. Yeah. Um, because we need to now know how that tied into Titanium? Carnage. Again, she's building a universe, universe. for us, guys. <laughs> Let's live in it. Let's play in the Lulu land. Yeah. Masked men come for me. <laughs> we shall summon them summon, immediately yeah. after we sign off. <laughs> All right. That's it for us. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to see more from us, you can find us on Instagram at the Midnight Babes Podcast and on TikTok at the Midnight Babes. Stay spooky, friends.